Greetings. I am a dragon alchemist. With the commander running things, and allow me to I've got plenty of time to focus on learning to fly this boat. From what I've seen, you could use the practice. And that's not encouraging. So, yes, as I said in my previous episode, I rewound things a little bit to just get the building done the way I liked it. Sort of like moving a couch. Except this couch involves a giant alien space... Well, it's not a spacecraft, is it? I don't even know what to call this thing aside from a flying carrier. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Well, let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, Joe Jenkins, a scientist at 94 Intel. And this is our squad. I have to take two rookies. Because the other uh, promoted guys are injured. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Let's get this started. Recon has been keeping an eye on an Advent transport convoy moving through this area. As it turns out, a VIP of some importance to the Resistance is being held in one of their trucks. They've asked us to move in and handle the rescue operation. We'll have to eliminate any hostile forces nearby and secure the area, then get the VIP to safety. Okay, so we're busting someone out. Like that. And now, for... Those that have submitted their characters for my character pool, I apologize that we haven't exactly gotten to getting people in here yet. You know, what with the, the class specifications that you asked for, until I actually get those people promoted, that's... I'm not able to put you in yet. You hear that? Or I find you out in the world and I recruit you. I also apologize for the frame rate drops, but that's just XCOM for optimization. Menace One Five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Position is obscure. Okay, so we gotta uh, snatch the VIP and then head this way. That means, uh, wish we had a sniper. A sniper right here would provide covering fire for both retrieval and extraction. That would have been wonderful. Unfortunately, that's just not happening. So... I'll make do with what I have. Orders confirmed on the move. You don't see anything down there? Alright, fair enough. I start concealed. So I can't afford a double move at the moment. The thing is, I don't exactly know what's below me. There could be an enemy squad right inside that building. I, I'm just taking a moment to examine this statue. Kind of creepy. Rolling. Anyone inside? Doesn't look that way. Alright, move up, move up. Keep concealment. Position confirmed. Got a group of hostiles over here. Oh, there they are. Alright, alright. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, Things will only get worse. Let's do this. Let's have our ranger get into a better position with her shotgun. Same with you. Okay. You go over here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And let's get ready for a firefight next turn. Gonna have to get that on a squatty. 
well, rookie. I keep mist mistaking that person for squad. They're not moving, so that's a bit of encouragement. What's the hack? I'll take a look. I doubt I'm going to use the hack, but I like to see my options before we even start. Since this costs no action, I have a cancel the hack. Okay, so if I fail the hack, they're alerted to my position. If I... If the reduced will does nothing for me. The distraction might Maybe. So, good to know my options. That said, this specialist does have to move up a bit. Moving to designated coordinates. Alright. Full cover... And line of sight on both targets. Covering now. I think it's... What's our range of shot here? 486. So... Overwatch? On Overwatch. Overwatch. Cover. And open fire on... The sectoid. There's a slight chance that the critical might kill him outright. So I want the shotgun to be the one that fires. Because if it hits the regular trooper, it'll kill him. But if it's a critical, the extra damage goes to waste. And besides, the sectoid has slightly better odds of hitting. Alright, the extra damage went through, but it didn't outright kill him. That doesn't matter. We've been spotted! Ambush! One target down. One still alive. Nope. It's still moving. And alive. They're all dead. And both of my rookies got promoted. I like odds like that. Now, unfortunately, that leaves be in a awkward position of having no concealment. And I still have 10 turns to extract this VIP. So I can afford... I can afford... to go a little slow here. Move into designated position. But I have no idea how many more enemies there are. On I've only eliminated two, and there could be a lot more out there. So I am going to move my squad up into what I know is safe Got cover. It, and what will not expose them to further twice. pods of enemies. It's a little dangerous grouping up like this, but it at least gives me security and knowledge. Way. That I'm not going to see anything Advent else. Forces sighted. There. there we go. I knew I was going to counter something near the VIP spot. Here they come. Right. I got two towers. Oh, the second one's just to open the door. All right. Well, first things first. Eliminate the hostiles. Open up the door. Do I have line of sight here? I do not. What about here? That's a negatory on that as well, but I have grenades. What about you? What are your options? You can move, but you're not gonna have anything but angle on the sectoid of my foot. Alright, I have angle in the sector. Slight. Thing is, it's not a great angle. I have to deal with cover. Uh, well, I think I'm going to have to throw a grenade out there. I don't see much in the way of options. I want that sectoid dead. There's no other way around it. 
Good that copy. trooper that is a danger in himself, but he's not the danger. I have to remove the full cover. Here, catch! More damage. That's, that is very nice. And now he's exposed. So... Yeah, he's got to go over here. He's Understood. got to take Moving the shot, out. and he must land it in. Seventy-two. And you miss. I'll get him next time. There's not going to be a next time for you. This Kato here is going to be what? Roger that. Firing. Because I'm not going to go out there and slash. I'm not crazy. Okay, this guy's in full cover. He's got. I've got a 44 chest to hit. I am in full cover as well, though. I will risk just going on. Wait, how much movement do you have? Moving to Overwatch. I was about to say I was about to put defense protocol on. We're backing up. Advance. The VIP is secure and we're on the move. What? Menace 1 5 status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction. What? Point. Wait, what? Force is moving on our position. I didn't. Okay, apparently by Menace blowing up. Menace 1-5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Okay, by Menace blowing up the wall, apparently I, I accidentally released the VIP. On your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Okay, so apparently... He didn't go on Overwatch. He's not on Overwatch. What is going on here? You know what? I don't care. I do not care. If he wastes his turn, I am fully supportive of that. Keep coming. Oh, now it's your turn to miss with a 96%. Miss the target. My ammo is running low. Well, it's time for you to Warning redeem yourself. Location. If a 96% chance to hit, does it hit? I know that's still 4% to miss, but that's staggeringly low odds. Toss me some ammo! That is, like, unfathomably low odds. On the move! Alright, I wanted the. Got the goods! But now that there are reinforcements coming in, I've got to take pot shots at whatever's coming from that direction. And I need to make sure I have good angle. And this is probably the best Headed angle I can get right now. Get Overwatch. Primitive covering now. You. You're getting the cover. You are going to burn if I move. That means the moment I move you, you're gonna burn. That means I need my specialist to extinguish you at that exact moment. All right, let's, let's hack access the point. van first. Oh, I didn't intend to hack the tower. I wanted the van. Yeah, because the distraction thing's not likely not going to happen. And I want to see what the rewards for opening the van will be. Because Attempting no matter what, I would get a reward for opening the, the van. But I want to see if I get any other. Ooh, okay. Uh, 66%, that's two-thirds chance. Let's take it. Oh, I should have taken the... Oh, well. Doesn't matter. I got the small cash reward. <laughs> small cash reward. What am I? I'm in. Show post. So, he must hunker down. I have got to extinguish him when I pull him out. Let's hope that the rook 
hope yes, yeah, that Overwatch is able to land the shot, or this is gonna get in trouble. So, Advent forces on the ground. They're on the move. As usual, my faith is completely misplaced. Uh, come on. Exactly a great angle here. You might have to just throw a grenade again. But where am I gonna have to move these guys? They kinda have terrible position. And this guy doesn't have a grenade either. Looking through my options, I don't have much in terms of good options. I could go up, but that's not going to help. Wait, what about my specialist? Can she go up? Yeah, she can indeed go up. Better angle. Confirmed. All right, 80% chance. What about you? You can't go there. You can't even rush out to slash him. You can rush out, but it's not gonna help. Let's go over here. Let's see, 60% chance, but my specialist can probably get that. All right. Let's take the 80% chance and see what it gets me. Target eliminated. Right, I have options to flashbang out! Alright, they are now disoriented. I have options. What about you? Are you still gonna burn? No, you're not going to burn. You you can get out of there. Get, get to full cover, buddy. Wait, you are burning! You're not supposed to burn! Oh no. Alright, take the 47% chance to hit that. Pacified. All right, apparently my specialist needs to put out you the burning man fast. <laughs> Overwatch. Oh, it's only one damage of burning. I still want to take care of that. That doesn't keep. Well, I thought the statue was rather ugly anyway. He flew pretty far. Well. Let's start getting our VIP over to the extraction point then. Well, let's see. Go over here because you have a bit of an angle through a window just to make sure there's nothing hiding over there after. I'm ready. Move slight. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I want to make sure this guy stops burning first. My specialist. A gremlin heal. Oh. Oh, okay. She can heal him heel. without needing direct line of sight. Position confirmed. This way. Move up slowly and 
full cover. Moving to designated position. Reload too, because you're nearly out of that. Reloading. Oh boy, that still means we got hostiles in the area. What do you have? Oh, another line of sight on that tower. Let's see what That's this tower again. gives me. Alright, I have five turns, and the VIP can pretty much run the extraction point. Again. And again, nothing I really I'm not going to spend the turn hacking or something that's pretty much unnecessary. Alright, you need to move up rather rapidly. Double time! Alright. Let's see. Check this quadrant. If it's clear, we can rush End the VIP over to the extraction zone. Alright. I may be able to just get out of here without having to kill all the enemies. Let's get our ranger out there to cover the approach first. Orders confirmed. On the move. Approach is clear. VIP, you're out of here. VIP secure and in position for evac. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. I'm not Don't going to extract the rest of my squad just yet. Scanning. This guy had to rush up here and he's not going to be able to hit the extraction zone until next turn. So I'm going to have the rest of the Moving squad to designated coordinates. also stay for the turn just in case we get some Scanning. enemies wandering into position. Alright. Nothing. Alright. Start getting out Copy of here. That. Evac. Packing it in. Evac. Get out of here. Just evac. in time. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right. A by the numbers extraction. The only person that was wounded was the VIP, and that was just due to fire damage. Did kill all the enemies, but that's not my objective here. My objective is to get the VIP out. got very lucky that my grenade didn't blow up the VIP inside the van. Although, that did uh, reveal to me a very unique way of getting the VIP out. Don't need to hack if you don't have a specialist nearby. Just toss a grenade to blow up the side wall. But just the side wall. Don't want to risk throwing the grenade inside. I the expected van. something of a learning curve for our new recruits, but they've done a remarkable job for them. Yeah. The learning curve I'm getting is 4% this chance is a real Alright, got another grand beer. Our rangers getting a little more slashy slashy. I'm gonna go with Blade Master with you because my other Rangers are already taking that. I like spreading out my options. And we have a sharpshooter. Excellent. We have a fully decked out squad now. Joe Jenkins. Welcome aboard. Oh yes, we also retrieve some alien alloys. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. Thank, Thank you. you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. 
I will make sure they are put to good use. And Tegan won't be lonely anymore. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have many supplies. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. I mean, once I clear out this debris, I'm gonna get a few supplies. There's been but... plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. <laughs> that's uh, that's a true statement. Let's see, we've got six available troopers, four wounded. There's the bar. There's engineering. Well, all things considered, that went remarkably well. No one got wounded. I somehow managed to get everyone out without issue. I want those Avenger supplies. Avenger plotting new course. I need those supplies. how well that goes. Okay, we got Yep, that's because there's two rooms I wanted to clear out. What do I want here? What do I want here? Uh, I need more supplies if I want to have some options, actually. I want the Gorilla Tactics Skull. I need to expand my squad size. There's, there's no other options here. I mean, I could install a power relay, but that's gonna take resources that I don't have. I need these supplies first. Do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Well, let's assign new research then. Goat name Cipher. New facility available, resistance cobs, new research available, resistance radio, research, resistance contacts available. And we got the resistance cobs, another building that's. I've got to make room for. Hmm. Well, I, I am gonna build the proving grounds, but it's it's only gonna take two days. Uh, Twenty days. That's not an option for me. Take the modular weapon. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Let's get to the bridge. Tigan just sent word. The new Resistance Communications Network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Right, we can make contact with New Mexico or the, US, the Eastern U.S. Seaboard. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Although that's more than the eastern U.S. That's also Canada. Quebec. Oh, uh, well. There, it's generalizations. Get more supplies in. Strategic resource located. In spring of 2015, human forces engage one of the first alien battleships in the skies over this area. The civilian populace below was devastated during the ensuing battle. We deployed, we deployed teams to sweep for possible, possible salvage, and they returned with a number of resources found scattered throughout the area. That's interesting. But that leaves me the question. Were the resources from the downed battleship? Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Way ahead of you. Oh, really? Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Gen reached. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the supplies for this. So, I have to clear out some room over here. I intend to put a workshop here and eventually put a power relay here. But that's going to take too long. I'm going to have to put a temporary power relay here. I know it's going to be a slight waste of resources, but current objective demands that I need power immediately. It takes 20 days to clear out machinery over here. I have no idea what it's going to take to clear out the machinery 
down here. It's going to take way too long. I need to have power right now. So I have to deal with this. But, all things considered, everything's going rather well. So, I think I'm going to put an end to the episode for now. And next episode, we're going to see what we get. For now, though, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell. <laughs>